Hello, what's up? Ali here, and on this video, I will walk you through how to install the CFW using another alternate host. And before we proceed, I will just have to give a strict reminder to follow all of the process that I am going to show you to avoid any issues, especially breaking your PS3. And also, just a prerequisite, make sure that you have installed the HFW or hybrid firmware on your PS3 before you can proceed to the digital set. So if you don't, uh, if you have not installed it yet, please go ahead and check on our video how to download and install a hybrid firmware on your PS3. And once you are done with that process, you can go ahead and make sure that your PS3 is properly connected online. And once everything has been prepared, we can go ahead now and go to the internet browser. On the internet browser, it is highly advisable to clear all internet data or files on your PS3. Press triangle and go to tools. Confirm browser set to off. Then delete all of the uh, files here. Delete cookies. Search history. Cache. And authentication information. Now let us go to the home page and from here we can enter the address of uh, the alternate host then click on ok then let us leave uh, the internet browser and enter it again then once you are asked to run the plugin just click on yes and just wait for the host to initialize if you get this uh, red sign fatal uh, memory allocation error occurred that you may have uh, to repeat uh, clearing all of the uh, internet data on your ps3 or you will have uh, to reboot your ps3 but it is highly advisable if you got any error message there to just reboot your PS3 to avoid any chances of breaking your PS3. So once it initializes and you did not receive any red messages, then you can proceed with the whole process. So just go to the flash memory manager. First, we have to back up our flash memory. Again, this is very important because in case uh, uh, something happens and you break your PS3, you will need this original dump to be able to restore your PS3 back. And uh, to have a backup of your flash, click on the flash memory and save flash memory backup and uh, you will be asked here where to save uh, the flash or the dump file so just uh, choose dev uh, usb 00 this will save the flash on your usb thumb drive then click on save so once you get this green check and the validity has been completed you can go ahead and check the health of your dump if it's good uh, to install cfw And once you have uh, passed the dump check, then we can go ahead now and uh, patch our memory. To do that, first we have to download the patch. Here on the flash memory patch, click here load the patch via HTTPS. This will download the patch that we need on our PS3. So uh, just make sure that the PS3 here is not interrupted uh, while it downloaded the file. Once it's done, just click on close. Then we can now install the patch. Again, let's go back to the flash memory patch and apply the loaded patch. This will apply the patch that we have just downloaded. After the patch, you may go ahead and install uh, the CFW that you prefer. 
and it is highly advisable to do any updates using the safe mode. I will just leave a link on our description how to use safe mode to update your PS3. And if you encounter any issues before you get to this part, it is also advisable to just repeat the process from the start to avoid any possible issues. And also, I would like to remind to have a backup of your original dump file. So this is it. Again, this is Ali. If you still have any questions or concerns, please go ahead and share them in our comment section. And if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on the next one. Bye-bye.